Say man, hey man, it's your boy Do It All Holland. We're back with another NBA 2K24 next gen build video. But before I get into the build, I need you guys to let me know in the comments who is your favorite comedian. If you have one, who is your favorite comedian? Don't forget to hit the link in the description to subscribe to my homie YouTube channel, The Guys and the Recovery Room Podcast. And with this build, we do have a diamond three level threat. And I really like this build because it kind of reminds me of the point guard that I have. And if you know anything about the point guard that I have, you already know what type of time that boy. On. So make sure you guys watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know now, you know it's like button time. Hit the like button, man. Don't forget to um, hit the link to join the Discord and follow me on Twitch. So with this build, we have the point guard position. You can change position if you want to. Totally up to you. Six eight on the wingspan, one eighty five on the weight, six nine on the wingspan. Let's get into it. So we're going to go ahead and start with the finishing on this build because I wanted this build to have really, really good finishing and, you know, give you guys a build that you can go out there and have fun with. So with this build, we did take the driver dunk all the way up to a 94. As you can see, we did take the wingspan down some, so 94 is the highest we can get it. And as you can see, um, we will get good layup with it, and I have experience with this. So my build does have a 94 driver dunk and a 74 layup, and you can see I don't miss a lot of layups, okay? Unless somebody got like real high shot blocking and they try to contest it or something like that, that's the only time that I really miss a layup. And as far as the close shot, it's going to stay right there at a 54. Um, for the standing dunk, now I would love to get this to a 73. You know, if this is my personal build, I would make some adjustments to get this to a 73, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a little bit different when you're out there. But we was able to get it to at least a 40. That's the minimum I would go for uh, standing dunk. So we do have that. Now we come down. We're going to go ahead and take the speed up. We got good speed for this build. Good acceleration, as you guys can see. Um, good strength on this build as well, along with the vertical. Don't make this mistake. If you don't take your vertical to an 82, you won't get the elite contact dunks. We, we we want those. You know what I'm saying? It's very important. And I see a lot of people doing this as well. They'll take their driving dunk to a 92, and you don't even get gold posterizer. You take it to a 93, yes, you get gold posterizer. You get gold slithery. But at 94, it does give you slithery on Hall of Fame, and you get those contact dunks. That's what we want, right? So um, this is what we got on the finishing. You can go out there and do what you need to do. Um, Hall of Fame slithery, Hall of Fame bunny together, and I'm going to start doing some floaters too. I have float game on my build. Um, I may start doing some floaters or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, just just have some fun. But let's go ahead and get to the green bay. Make your girl scream, bad. I know some people are always saying that I make builds with low three point shooting. Well, if you got a 77 three point shot, but your mid range is in the high 80s or the 90s, I think that's pretty good. You know, I had somebody tell me, you know, a 77 three-point shot is not enough. It's not enough to some people. That's what I was trying to explain to buddy. Like, some people can't shoot with a 77. Let's just be honest about it. You know what I'm saying? But you can't say that's for everybody because everybody's not like that. You know what I'm saying? But when you got a 77 three-point shot and an 80-something to a 90-something mid-range shot, then that 77 hit a little bit different than just this right here. You just got a 77 and a 62 mid-range shot. That hit a little different because let me show you what I'm talking about, right? If you look at the badges, if you just do a, a regular 77 three-point shot, you got a lot of bronze and silver badges, as you can see. But once you start to take that mid-range up, those same badges will start to turn silver and even gold. As you can see, badges are turning silver. Man, we're still going up. As you can see, we had an 82, and you now get a gold badge, gold catch and shoot. We're going to an 84 with this one, and we're going to take that three-point shot to an 87. So we're looking good with this build, man. We're not worried about no shooting with this build, but I'm just saying for those uh, people that got something to say about a 77 um, three-point shot, but you got a, a 93 mid-range shot. Like, come on now. Look at this. Like, come on, man. That's different. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the badges are totally different. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You can't you can't go wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Let me take this back down to where I had it at. Okay, so uh, like I said, we got an 87.3. We got a 71 on the free throw. 
So, um, we got gold catch and shoot, gold corner, gold space grader, gold claymore, guard up, and comeback kid. So, we're good with the shooting on this build. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mama can see this video. And I need everybody mama to see the video. So, do that for your boy, boy, pass action now. You could take this to an 87 if you want to, but I don't create a lot of bills with 91 passes, so I took the pass to a 91. As you can see, we got gold break starter, gold diamond, gold needle, gold relay, gold touch pass. Come on, man. This build is a great pass, all right? For the ball handle, we're going to take that to an 85. Speed with ball is a 77. I would advise that. Um, I have a build with a 75. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? To get the job done, but a 77 is a tad bit better uh, because you get gold triple strike on this build. We got silver speed boost, silver hybrid drive, silver blow by. We also get uh, killer combos on this build as well as physical handles on gold. And we get unplugged bone silver. I don't like that, but you know, it is what it is, man. You still might get plucked like a chicken. Depending on who you go against, that's a, a real lockdown, you know what I'm saying? So uh, you have to judge that yourself and uh, see if that badge is worth it for you. Now, you probably want to um, go shorter so you can get gold unplugged, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I think this is this is a good build. Now, let's get into the defense. So with the defense, we're going to focus on perimeter defense the most um, because we want that to be able to slow people down on the perimeter. And, you know, once they get past you, uh, they can go to the center. But if you got a team that run 2-3, you don't necessarily need a whole lot of defense. You know what I'm saying? You need some some okay uh, perimeter defense, but you don't necessarily just have to have, like, super high shot blocking or anything like that. You don't even have to have super high steel. You know, you can you can hide in the defense. But with this build, you won't have to hide uh, just in case y'all run man-to-man. -man. You got an 85 perimeter defense. It will allow you to get 94 feet, fast feet, challenger, clamps, and ankle braces on this build. So you should be good. With the steel, we're going to take that to a 72. That does give us uh, some steel badges like glove, intercept, and right stick ripper. So we're going to be okay with that. Now, we didn't add any shot blocking. You can add that if you want to. Totally up to you. Um, but, you know, if you play a point guard, you don't necessarily need high shot blocking. Now, you're going to get in some situations where you got a rim runner and you got to chase down some blocks. But, you know, you're probably going to be able to hold them on the perimeter and stop them from getting to the rim a lot of the times, okay? So, with the speed, we got an 84. Really good speed for a 6'8 build. 75 on the acceleration. 74 strength, 82 vert, and the rest is on Shlamina. Now let's get into these shades up. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, for all those people out there talking about Tyrese Halliburton pass style, because I had him on the thumbnail, I just be picking people, dog. I don't really be putting that much into it. And we do have the Diamond 3 level threat. And don't forget to let me know in the comments who is your favorite comedian. Uh, whoever that may be, whether the person is living or, you know, deceased, it does not matter. Don't forget to subscribe to my homie uh, YouTube channel called The Guys and the Recovery Room Podcast. And I'm out of here, man. Ciao!